I would say the, the largest way it's impacted us is we've been able to offer way more bespoke solutions for our customers. Um, with previous platforms, we had to really stay in the box and we had to sell that box. You know, we can offer you this look, these types of items, and that's it. Um, but just over the past year of having Catfish, we have been able to um, cross-sell existing clients with um, larger, more complex storefronts. Um, we've been able to gain new clients with custom integrations like the Punch-Out catalog. Um, we also are involving more of my team uh, because I, you know, my team does more than flip and print. We also do uh, web development, app development, uh, software development, and with previous platforms, Web and Print was really just relegated to the Web and Print team, and kind of like the pre-press world, you know, setting up templates, and and that was all that was involved. But now with you know the Catfish API, um, the ability to you know create themes and white label all the storefronts, um, we can really involve everyone in the team, and we all have a part to um, bring the custom and at times pretty complex solutions to, to our customers. Uh, again, I would say it's flexibility, uh, not only in terms of its APIs and everything, but um, the, the separation of storefronts and having settings per storefront is really key to us uh, because previously we would have, we could set up different storefronts for different customers, but you can only make them unique to a certain extent. And if customer A wanted a certain setting, well, that's at the global platform level. And if customer B didn't want that option, then you were stuck. So the ability to create completely unique custom storefronts for customers is, is huge for us because we have many clients of many different sizes and industries, and they all have their own business requirements. Um, beyond that, I would say just the front end ease of use. Um, you know, being able to white label everything and, you know, every time we do a demo, um, inevitably they just say, wow, that looks super clean and easy to use. So that's a huge selling point for us. Correct. And, you know, you referenced the, the Amazon experience and we actually use that exact same reference. Um, everyone knows how easy Amazon is to use. And if we give you a portal and we could give you a 30 page guide on how to use it, then, you know, we probably missed the mark. <laughs> So um, just the instant ease of use is huge. I mean, they, they've been great to work with. Um, they're all very prompt to answer anything that we, we that we have, any any issues or concerns or questions. Um, you know, we are on the help desk all the time. If they're looking for resources or asking a question. Um, they've all been a delight to work with. So our EFI system consists of Monarch, which is the M which is the I guess the MIS system for EFI, and then we have PrintStream, which is the inventory management system, and PrintStream integrates with Process Shipper, which is the shipping module for EFI, and so they're all kind of connected, and. Um, so, so what happens is the order data from Catfish is transformed into a import spreadsheet automatically that PrintStream needs. And so all inventory items, print-on-demand items, everything, all those line items go to PrintStream. They're automatically imported. And then the fulfillment team who you know, has been using PrintStream for years, uh, you know, they get take tickets with um, the SKUs need to pull in the system, and you know, Printstream tells them their location and everything. Um, if they have any POD line items, the, the pick ticket says so, so they'll know to wait to receive those POD items for when they're done being produced. Then they, of course, reconcile the order and ship it out through process shipper. And uh, the way we kind of have achieved the two-way communication is, I mean, the, the whole issue is that Catfish can talk out to anyone but getting EFI to talk back is 
has been the hard part. So to complete the circle with the user experience of, of letting the customer know that the order has been shipped, um, we also use and focus Swish. So Swish is, of course, also taking the artwork from Catfish and putting it directly to the um, production server with the job tickets and everything. Um, but so when the order is shipped in PrintStream, uh, PrintStream is sending an email to Switch, which then finds the Catfish order ID um, and the tracking number in the email and parses that out and then sends an API call back to Catfish now uh, that the order's been shipped, and then that triggers the email and Catfish to the customer that the order has been shipped and marks the order as complete. So it's a very roundabout way of doing things, but it's been working. <laughs> say it's invaluable um, because you know we you know we've had catfish for a year and we you know through the training process we've we've onboarded some smaller clients and we could handle their POD work kind of by hand. You know our CSRs get an email that works place, then they go to the back end of catfish to SPO, they get the job ticket, they get the our work, they send it to press. That manual process has been working um, for the majority of last year until we onboarded uh, one of our largest clients, uh, which is a large healthcare provider in the region. And they have both POD and inventory items. And with their volume, there, there was just no way to, to do that manually. It would, it would be impossible. Um, so we had to figure out a solution for them. So it, it, if the generic MS plugin didn't exist, then we would be in a world of trouble. <laughs> and um, so the, the, the healthcare customer has a portal on Catfish, but they also have another line of business to where they send us their order data feed, about maybe 100 orders per day. And we have a custom workflow to where we're importing those orders into Catfish. And then again, using the order XML to push it out to our system. So they have a portal and then this, this custom data feed workflow. And we use the generic MS plugin for both. So it's almost as valuable as Catfish itself, I would say. For 2020, I think it's going to be a, a really good indication of that ROI since we are now getting some of our big clients in there, either new clients or um, a huge push for us in 2020 and one of the key reasons why we chose catfish was you know over the years of, of acquiring different companies uh, you know things patented ourselves and jumping from platform to platform we just had a bunch of disparate systems and clients everywhere on different platforms and catfish was the only one that could really accommodate the, the feature set of all of them combined so in, in 2020, it's a huge priority for us to consolidate the platform down to mainly Catfish. Um, so once we get everyone on the same platform, uh, I think the efficiency is gained and the ROI will be huge. So I don't know if I have an immediate answer for you on the ROI part. Um, maybe talk to me at the end of this year and we'll have a better idea. <laughs> I would say think about not only what your current clients want, but also what you foresee them wanting five to 10 years from now. Um, choosing a platform that has a customization and, and flexibility that um, you can grow into. Um, over the years, we, we quickly outgrew a lot of our platforms. And um, so I think just thinking ahead, getting a, a platform that not only can serve your current client's needs, but your client's needs five to 10 years from now. Um, and then also your backend needs. So choosing a platform that um, not only uh, is efficient for your customers, but can make you know the backend efficient too and, and your workflow. I can tell that Infigo more focuses on the 
end user where I feel like other vendors focus on they, they kind of focus on the production side first and then just build a web interface to feed that. Um, and the, what our clients are demanding nowadays, they they want an all-encompassing experience. They don't want just to order business cards. They want their stationary. They want to design templates online with like mega edits. They want to get digital downloads. They want to you know have all these custom integrations and I think, I think what Infigo has um, developed is honestly years ahead of anything else that I've come across. Um, just with the sheer breadth of, of what you can do with the, the platform. You know, we have storefronts that are completely unrecognizable as the same platform, one from the next, and that's kind of unheard of, at least from what I've seen with other platforms.